Cocaine, an unauthorized biography, by Dominic Streetfield is a compelling exploration of the history, culture, and impact of cocaine on society. Streetfield delves deep into the origins, production, distribution, and consumption of this notorious drug, shedding light on its multifaceted journey from an indigenous plant to a global epidemic. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, the author paints a comprehensive picture of the cocaine phenomenon. One of the book's strengths lies in its historical context. Streetfield takes readers on a journey through time, tracing the use of coca leaves by indigenous South American tribes to the emergence of the coca-cocaine connection in the late 19th century. The author skillfully weaves historical anecdotes, such as the introduction of coca-based products like Coca-Cola, with the rise of cocaine as a recreational drug. By doing so, Streetfield highlights the drug's entanglement with commerce and culture, revealing how it became deeply embedded in American society. Moreover, the book explores the economic and political dimensions of cocaine production. Streetfield takes readers to the heart of the coca-growing regions in South America, where the drug trade has often been a lifeline for impoverished communities. He exposes the complex web of drug cartels, government corruption, and global demand that perpetuates the cocaine industry. The author's meticulous research is evident as he unravels the intricate layers of the drug trade, presenting it as a global issue that extends far beyond individual users. Streetfield also delves into the consequences of cocaine consumption on both the individual and society. He portrays the drug's allure and its devastating effects on users, highlighting the destructive cycle of addiction. Through personal stories and interviews, he humanizes the issue, making it clear that cocaine addiction affects people from all walks of life. The book serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of understanding the drug's allure and the need for effective prevention and treatment measures. One of the book's notable aspects is its exploration of the drug's cultural impact. Streetfield discusses the portrayal of cocaine in popular culture, from movies and music to literature and art. He analyzes how these depictions have contributed to the drug's mystique and glamorization. By dissecting the cultural fascination with cocaine, the author underscores its pervasive influence on society and the challenges it poses in combating its allure. The author's writing style is engaging and accessible, making complex information and historical events easily digestible for readers. Streetfield's narrative approach, which combines history, investigative journalism, and personal anecdotes, keeps readers captivated throughout the book. His use of vivid descriptions and storytelling techniques allows readers to connect with the subject matter on a personal level, making it not just an informative read but an emotionally engaging one as well. In addition to its strengths, Cocaine, an unauthorized biography, does have a few shortcomings. While Streetfield covers a wide range of topics related to cocaine, some readers may find the book's length and depth overwhelming. The sheer volume of information presented can be challenging to absorb in one reading, and it may have benefited from more concise editing in certain sections. Additionally, while the book provides an extensive overview of cocaine's history and impact, it could have delved deeper into some aspects, such as the science behind addiction and the psychological effects of the drug. In conclusion, Dominic Streetfield's Cocaine an unauthorized biography, is a thought-provoking and comprehensive exploration of the cocaine phenomenon. Through meticulous research and engaging storytelling, the author brings to life the history, culture, and consequences of cocaine use. The book succeeds in shedding light on the multifaceted nature of the drug, from its origins to its global impact. While it may be information-rich to a fault in some places, 
it remains a valuable resource for anyone seeking a deeper understanding of the cocaine epidemic and its far-reaching implications.